So who are the Dauber, Dober, Dobre, Dobbery? Who are the twins? You might know Lucas and Marcus as the background of a lot of Jake Paul's old stuff. Okay, here I come. I can't believe it. Oh, Mike. I was on TV! But lately they've branched off into their own old market where they make rap videos. Prank video. Basically just everything you've ever seen a Viner YouTuber do. I mean, the other route is commentary videos, and thank Christ they are making those. And the quality of works from these guys is exactly as to be expected. The pranks are fake. The raps are bad. Back again like I never left. I'm going in, watch me do my dance. But Lucas and Marcus are on another fucking level. These guys have moved past fake pranks into fake fake pranks you can sit back down and I'll tell ya now a fake fake prank is when you intend to avoid criticism by you saying that it's fake that way if anyone comments this is fake they'll just get replies saying uh are you stupid they said in the video it was fake you moron let me give you a quick example. So you click on a Lucas and Marcus video called My Twin Brother Got Beat Up. And in the video, the second the kid gets out of the car, you're like, that's makeup. But then you watch 10 minutes of them acting the f out of this situation. And the whole time you're like, it's makeup. And then finally at the end of the video, he comes back out of his room with no more bruising and is like, what? Where'd your bruise go? Fit. I mean, I think. There anymore? It was a prank. I got you guys. <laughs> oh, was that good? Yo, what the heck? Um, <laughs> okay. For who, though? It's not a prank for your brother, because he knew. What the heck? It's not a prank for me, because I knew. Oh, it's a prank for kids. You guys rely on kids. Ugh, what is it with family-friendly content and 19-year-olds taking their shirts off? Starting to feel like that guy Carl, Carl for that scene in Silicon Valley. Now, Carl, you said the new sign-in page made you nervous. Did anyone else feel nervous? So before I get put on a list, we're just gonna rush through like four or five, just a variety pack of, of twin pranks. First video, mom wakes up in ocean prank. No, we gotta go again. Ready? Three, two, one. We're twins, and we do the fuck. Why are we doing this one out to our mom? This is the best prank ever, ever. Woo! So the Wonder Twins are gonna try to put our mom in the ocean while she's sleeping. You know, that classic prank where you'd send your friend's inflatable mattress out onto like the camp lake, except it's your mom and it's a hotel mattress and it's the ocean. Oh, wait, never mind. They swapped it out with an inflatable mattress. <laughs> Oh yeah, mom's not in on it. Didn't question the four-star inflatable mattress in the bed. The best prank ever, ever! Is going swimmingly until they make it five feet to the door and they realize the mattress isn't gonna fit through the door and that this prank doesn't make any sense. But then, boop, we're in the hallway. <laughs> It's worth mentioning that this is the one mistake that the comment section was like going crazy over. But it's a good example of a fake fake, which I'll get to in a second. So they push mom down the hall and absolutely cram her into that elevator. And it's just the best. Like the mom's a real trooper. I gotta hand her that. I don't know if I should say she's the best actor 
or the worst actor. If I heard the sound of someone making balloon animals, I'd probably wake up almost immediately. So we get out of the elevator, which is just as great, and we're taken out through the lobby to realize that these guys work out probably as often as their dad does. This poor mom, I can't, she's... Yeah, mom, sorry, we didn't really consider the fact that inflatable mattresses deflate a bit if you take them, you know, through two elevators and, like, carry it down a hallway with someone weighing down the middle of it. Yeah, overall, it's really just this whole prank wasn't thought out. Sorry, mom, you failed us as a parent. Finally, we get to the beach, and let me just ask you what you notice about the beach. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's pretty loud. There's this great moment where the dad, who's also been in on it the whole time, seems to realize that it might even be out of their control. Like he just willfully pushed his wife out onto the ocean on a raft. So we are led to believe that the only person this is a prank for is the mom. Only the mom is not in on it. If you still believe that at this point, just watch her wake up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, where am I? You guys, run right away! What should we do? What should we do? Where are we You've just woken up from a long sleep. You see your two Ooh. shitty kids, your husband, and a cameraman staring at you from the beach outside your hotel. What would you ask yourself? Would you ask, where am I? Or, how did I get here? No, because you opened your eyes to the answers to both of those questions. So mom makes it back to the shore and Crocs. Crocs with socks. And we're all a happy family, but look out boys and girls, mom's got a secret. You know what, I have to be honest, I knew it was a prank. Then they hit you with the fake fake. Ooh, you never see it coming. Hey kids, today's lesson is what to do when you know someone's gonna throw your mattress in the ocean. Don't pretend to stay asleep. But now you're starting to see the beauty of the fake fake. So you go into the comments, you say, hey, this video is fake. Everyone goes, yeah, of course, dummy. The mom even says at the end that she knew. Okay, but like, who are you defending? A family of people pulling pranks on other fully aware people? I respect the fake fake. I think it's hilariously inventive. What I don't respect are these videos where they for some reason just pretend like they're rescuing baby animals. Second video. We rescued lost baby bears. Did you leave the door open? No, I didn't, did you? How did they get in? I don't know. Something's out there. What's going on? Come on. Something or someone is in our house. We gotta go find out what it is. Oh, hold on. Let me just plug the merch real quick. Shopdobby.com. Get your merch now, guys. You only have a couple hours left to get your merch. Shopdobby.com. With that out of the way, holy sh**. We rented bears. She's in here by accident. Oh, I, I take it back. I guess they just actually found two baby bears that walked into their house because someone left the door open. I guess I'm just an idiot. How did they get in? How did they get in? Is there this? actually baby bears in our house right now? These guys are like bad extras on a movie set. <laughs> the director's like, yeah, you know, just ad lib a little bit about how you can't believe these bears are in your house. And they just spend the whole time going, these bears are in our house. I can't believe it. How did this happen? These bears are in our house. Uh, there's bears in the house, like by accident? I can't, how did they get in? These bears, there's bears in the house. I'm amazed that there's bears in the house. There's really not much to say about this one. It's just 10 minutes of them playing with bears under the pretense that they're from the wild. It's a great message for the kids. Yes, baby bears are always just as cuddly as you think they might be. But I had to see what their explanation was at the end for why they don't have baby bears anymore. And it's literally what you'd expect. We did get help to get the bears in a safe place. And they actually asked us not to film, so that's why we did not film. Hey, you're vloggers. You film literally everything. You're telling me these guys wouldn't have already been filming minutes prior to being told they weren't allowed to film? Isn't that how these kinds of people work? But, oh yeah, they asked us not to film, so we respected their privacy, okay. That was a lot of fun. Two baby bears coming out of nowhere, yeah. coming in our house. Yeah, 
typical Friday afternoon, you know, get money, fuck bitches, baby bears, in the house. So that series, and yes, it's a series where they rescue baby animals. It just bugs me so much that these two kids are just, you can fabricate and resolve your own sob story and like get points for both plus footage of you playing with baby animals. It's like, a, it's a win, 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 win situation. But it's a despicable practice and no one should do it. Third video. I dropped my twin brother's MacBook Pro. Whoa, whoa. Fourth video. We made our mom cry. Her dream come true. Sounds kind of fucked when you just read it out like that. So this video is a different kind of video. It's more an emotional video. I haven't mentioned this yet, but I absolutely need to. Whoever's editing these videos needs to just... Ooh, wow. Every single shot starts at least one second too early. And I don't know if it's an artistic choice or what, but just look at these clips and tell me which one has better editing. I mean, it's gonna be the second one. I don't even know why I'm doing this bit. Dobaytour.com, it's down in the description. Oh. Hey, get your tickets, let's go. So this video is a different kind of video. It's more an emotional video. Dobaytour.com, it's down in the description. Oh. Hey, get your tickets, let's go. So this video is a different kind of video. It's more an emotional video. Did you notice? Probably not, but over 10 minutes it adds up, okay? So the prank that they explain as they casually walk by their cars is that they're gonna go to the bank and withdraw $10,000 in cash and just kind of dump it in front of their mom. Basically one of those donating to homeless people pranks, except you never actually have to give money to anybody. They go to three separate banks because they didn't think far enough ahead to realize that banks don't really like you coming in and asking to take out $10,000 for no reason. And then this clip happens. Love you, Mom. Love you. Steve, you feel me? Yeah. We just got to the house. You see what I mean about not knowing if it's an artistic choice, but knowing it's just bad? And then they dump it in front of the mom. This was on trending. So like most people who just received the world's least classy gift of stacks of singles, the mom says, You know I love you a lot, okay? You know I love you a lot. And my happiness is to be your mom. Mom, you, you are your mom. But I cannot take this. I cannot accept this. Well, there you go. So, I guess nothing really happened, huh? Why did I watch this? Fifth video! Twin brother wakes up in swimming pool prank! Hey, wait a second! This sounds awfully familiar to me! Where have I seen this prank before? It's about to go down! It's about to go down! Crocs! <laughs> Crocs with socks! Oh, oh. <laughs> morning, everyone! It is early in the morning. After a not so brief intro by whichever one this is, we learn that he's going to do exactly what we saw them do to their mom. The other one is inexplicably sleeping on an air mattress and seems to be just as heavy of a sleeper. Now, throwing your mom in the ocean, there's a sense of urgency. If she doesn't pretend to wake up, Immediately, she's gonna get lost at sea, and that's less fun of a prank. Brother in a pool? Yeah, it's low stakes. He just kinda keeps sleeping for a while. So they just kinda keep fucking with him? I, I don't know. The one black friend, I think his name's Ramon, is my favorite by far of the crew. Cause it's so obvious how he's just trying to distance himself from all this shit. What do you think, Ramon? So, mm, just like, bro, do you not see me over here, and you guys over there, and your brother's in the pool on a fucking Ooh. air mat? <laughs> so they finally wake him up. There he is! And then they just keep kind of fucking with him. Best prank ever, ever! Woo! Like, how can these kids not get this prank right? 
The point is that you push them into a large but confined body of water. You went with the small confined and it was stupid, and then you went with an infinite abyss and it was probably terrifying. Just find a lake, you guys. Just, uh, you're probably in Cali, but I just find a lake. Call in a favor, go to Jake Paul's pool. The only thing else that needs to be mentioned about these guys is that YouTube continues to enable them. YouTube is encouraging this kind of channel, this kind of behavior, this family-friendly content to the point where you can just abuse the rules and continue making thousands of dollars a month. Some of you are newer, you might not remember, but a while ago, a few times, actually, I got in some trouble for using quote-unquote misleading tags in some of my videos. And that really ever boiled down to people making jokes that I had mistakenly used the comedy tag. <laughs> and they were right, I guess, because the videos got taken down and I had to remove a bunch of tags and get them put back up. Needless to say, in the eyes of YouTube, mission accomplished. I am now terrified every time I'm putting in tags for my video. Maybe three or four carry across every one of my videos, but those are tags like Sorrow TV. Things that totally apply to every video automatically. Lucas and Marcus don't give a fuck about tags. The tags for the Baby Bear video start out as such. Lucas and Marcus. Marcus and Lucas. Dobre. Dobre twins. Dobre brothers. The Dobre brothers. Dobre brothers YouTube. Uh, all the standard stuff I was just talking about. It's you, obviously, you're in the video, automatic. But then we start moving into copy-paste territory. Lucas and Marcus pranks, Dobry Brothers gymnastics, Dobry Brothers pranks, gymnastics, dance, challenges, music, rap, pranks, grocery store, cars, reactions, makeup, makeup, games, food, family, collabs, animals, PG, family friendly, the Ace Family, Guava Juice. Yeah, those tags are starting to look a little less leading and a little more misleading, if you know what I mean. And it's so obvious every time where they started trying to find actual relevant tags, because there's always just like four or five thrown in. You know, you got bear cubs playing, baby bears, wildlife, nature, Lucas the spider. Lucas the spider? No. No! Lucas the spider is where I draw the goddamn line! He is a treasure! I will not have him associated with the likes of you! You curly-headed fu- friendly yet? Got the fucking ukulele, I got the whistling. What is it, because I don't have jingle bells? What is it? This sucks. <laughs>